Bogart Joe Huntley, and today we are going to be talking about the Sarah Steady. Please consult the user guide for the manual and instructions. Today is my version of the in service. The Sarah Steady, the weight limit on it is 400 pounds. The, the uh, seat swivels up like this to get it out of the way of the butt of the patient. The, the things we need for the Sarah Steady to um, be the patient to be able to qualify for this is to be able to be cognitive, follow instructions, have some core trunk strength, and be able to pull themselves up onto this device. So what we're going to do today is kind of show you a couple practical applications for this. We're really to think about the Sarah Steady in your hospital is anywhere there's a fall. Anywhere we could have a fall precaution, which includes toileting, 50% of falls happen going to and from the toilet, night during the day. Um, well, other places that to think about this is, is maybe out of a car, getting somebody out of a car, because that's always a hard extraction to get them from a car to a waiting room. Next one would be in, in uh, OB delivery. Obviously, the mother after, after giving birth needs to go to the bathroom. The legs are not very weak. Put them on this to go to the bathroom. Um, toileting, and we'll show you kind of how to toilet with this. It also gives them kind of a safety barrier so they can't fall off the toilet. Um, and also for PTOT, just range of motion up and down. Also for inpatient. Um, brushing teeth, combing hair up at the up at the uh, the, the 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 sink basin. Um, we'll show a technique for that too. So we'll get into the transfer. What we'll do is we'll we'll come into our patient. And what's my patient's name today? Kelly. Kelly's our patient today. We're going to open the legs and we're going to bring the Sarah Steady into the patient. And we want her to be able to put her feet up to it. And we want to bring it up to the knees and lock it down. And we want to come around to your patient's side and we say, Kelly, grab the bar here and pull yourself up. And the traps will come down, sit down, knees forward, take the brakes off. And now we're able to move Kelly around the room safely. We're not doing that up from the wheelchair hip tug to swing around to go to a bath, to, to a toilet. This will actually simply come to a toilet, go around the base of it, lock down the wheels. Kelly can assist herself up, open the flaps, lower herself down on the commode, do her business. She can help stand up, I can help clean, and you've got a barrier in here where she cannot fall off the toilet and have that fall for you. So, a couple other things we can do. Kelly, sit up for me. As an, obviously, you consult your doctor on this, but as far as epidurals, even though it OB different areas, if she were to lean forward, kind of cross her arms on the front, it exposes this lower back to get it prepped for it even, or get it ready. Um, we can also pretend like this is a sink, and Kelly was 92 years old and had perfect hair. She could come up to the sink, style her hair, brush her teeth, stand up when she gets tired, sit back down. Okay? It is preventing that fall in your hospital, which is a never event nowadays. Once again, this is the Sarah Steady, 400 pound capacity, and thank you for your time.